If someone is just non-stop talking and being so loud, you can tell them to put a sock in it. Telling someone to put a sock in it Hey everyone, welcome to another English lesson with me, Catalin. Today we have a very helpful video, all about idioms to do with your clothes. Idioms are a super important part of English because we use them all the time. They are a great way to improve your everyday informal spoken English. So I hope that you guys find this video helpful and enjoyable and let's jump straight into the first idiom for today's video. Number one is to be in your birthday suit. If you are in or wearing your birthday suit, it means that you are completely naked. You're wearing all of the clothes that you were born with. None. How do you like my birthday suit? Idiom number two is to roll up your sleeves. To roll up your sleeves means to get ready or prepare to do some hard work. Of course, if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt and you're about to do some hard work like gardening, you'd want to roll up your sleeves so you don't get any dirt on them. That's where this idiom comes from. Roll up our sleeves and get to it. Next idiom up is to put a sock in it. If someone is just non-stop talking and being so loud, you can tell them to put a sock in it. Telling someone to put a sock in it is the same thing as saying shut up or be quiet. Where they would hopefully be putting the sock is in their mouth to stop their constant yabbering. Put a sock in it, Elaine. Idiom number four for today's video is to get your panties in a twist. Or sometimes we'd also say get your knickers in a twist. Panties and knickers are the same thing. They are women's underwear. To get your panties in a twist means to get upset or annoyed about something that isn't very important. Something that you probably don't need to worry about too much. Often how we use this idiom is to tell another person not to get their panties in a twist. We might say, whoa, no need to get your panties in a twist. Don't get your panties in a twist. Another idiom is to wear your heart on your sleeve. To wear your heart on your sleeve means to openly show your emotions. If you feel something, you don't try to hide it. You tell or show other people. An example of this idiom in a sentence might be, he was so in love with her, he couldn't help but wear his heart on his sleeve. Beautiful, you wearing your heart on your sleeve like that. <laughs> Number six is at the drop of a hat. This is a very common idiom that means to do something immediately or without delay. For example, as soon as she called him, he would be there at the drop of a hat. That means that as soon as she calls him, he would rush to her immediately. The schedule can change at the drop of a hat. Our second to last idiom today is to be in someone's shoes. If you put yourself in someone's shoes, it means that you try to imagine yourself in a situation that they are in. Normally that situation is a bad one. So you try to think about how they might be feeling and what they might be experiencing. Often we use this idiom in the sentence, put yourself in my shoes. We'd say this if we think that another person isn't understanding our situation or how we feel. We want them to consider what is going on for us. Kimmy, put yourself in my shoes. And our very final idiom for this video is to wear the pants. Or sometimes we also say, wear the trousers. Trousers is just a formal word for pants. To wear the pants means that person has the most control. In a relationship, whoever wears the pants makes all of the important decisions. Yeah, I wear the pants in this bag. And that is all of the idioms that I have for you guys today. These are definitely some great ones and really commonly used. If you enjoyed the video and had fun learning about these idioms, 
please leave this video a like and a subscribe to the channel would be great. Feel free to also check me out on social media and leave a comment if you'd like to ask me any questions. I'll see you later. Bye!